Hello and welcome back to the channel here. As we're all dealing with this Windows 10 that's being phased out, we've got to figure out some way to switch over to Windows 11 without breaking the budget. And I found a really inexpensive way to do this that works very well. I just wanted to share that with you. The big question is, is, will this replace a desktop, regular desktop? And we're going to find out here shortly and how good it works. Uh, but this uh, little mini PC by Camru, very affordable. Uh, it's got two HDMI ports and one VGA port, so you can actually want, run three monitors with it. Windows already has that built in provisions for extra monitors. Just hook up the monitors very easily, easy to configure. And if you've never tried extra monitors, it's uh, very handy something that's very handy. It also has a gigabyte LAN port hardwired up which is what I like to use if I can. You're going to get faster speeds uh, through the Ethernet cable. It does have built-in Wi-Fi but what I've found is that uh, Wi-Fi it is handy but it'll slow you down a little bit. Not much. You may not notice it but uh, if you want all the speed that you can get uh, use the Ethernet cable. Mini jack for headphones. It's got four USB ports. Two of them are 2.0 USB ports and two of them are the newer uh, USB 3's which is faster. It comes with this hanger that you can hang it on the wall. A lot of monitors has a place on the back that you can screw this little mount and actually hang this on the back of your monitor uh, which is pretty handy just to have this on the back of your monitor. You don't even need a shelf or anything to lay it on. Of course it comes with the power uh, supply it comes with an HDMI cable one but if you're if you're replacing a, an older PC with this you can you can use your keyboard and mouse and your monitor most of the modern keyboards are USB and the only thing moving in here is a small fan these have the newer solid-state drives in them uh, no moving parts in the drive part of it it comes with 16 gigs of RAM and 512 gigs of storage which is plenty for a desktop workstation so it's a very fast little computer boots up very fast just a matter of seconds so we're going to hook this up here and and see how fast it boots up okay we've got it all hooked up here i just want to show you how fast this boots up uh, i've already had it running and when you when you first hook this up don't don't hook the ethernet cable in first get everything hooked up and running when you hook to the internet for the first time, it's going to have several hours of updates and downloads. So before you hook it to the internet, go ahead and get all your stuff hooked up and running and turned on. And get it turned on and then, then hook up to the internet and then walk off and leave it. Because it's going to take several hours to do all the updates. I just want to show you how fast this boots up. With these solid state drives, they're super fast. So I just turned it on right there. I've already got my preferred wallpaper up, which is kind of an old school thing, so don't laugh at it when you see it. Alright, let's go ahead and, and log in. Not Okay, there we go. It just took a matter of seconds for it to boot up. And we're already already online here. So you know it boots up very fast. No complaints there. That's my old school wallpaper from back in the old not if, unless you're old you're not gonna know what that is. It used to be a show that used to come on long years ago about tinkering with computers. But the answer to our question is can this replace a regular desktop computer and I'd say yes. Uh, I've actually used this computer for a couple of weeks now. Uh, super happy with it. No complaints at all. I'm super happy with this computer for the price. You know we're up to Windows 11 now. We don't have to worry about that. I would highly recommend this little computer. Uh, no complaints at all. Thank you for watching.